Praise the Lord. Hey, hey, what's good? What's good? What's good? Praise the Lord, my brother. Our goal today, EW3, Pastor Parker. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to see you. Amen. Praise the Lord, Pastor Fleming. Praise the Lord, everyone. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Everybody doing all right? Good. I'm glad y'all doing all right. <laughs> Amen. All right. All right. All right. Amen. Good. 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 All right. Well. Uh, I guess it's that time. Amen. Uh, good to be in your hearing today and uh, good to be able to, uh, again, come to you in this manner. Um, I will tell you that um, what's going on, hero, all the way from the H town. What's up, Marcel? God bless you, brother. Amen. X, 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 God bless you. Amen. Uh, but anyway, again, good, good, good to uh, come before you guys in this manner. Uh, again, I, I, I promise I miss being uh, in the building, so to speak. Amen. I, I miss being amongst the people. I miss being able to touch, um, feel, amen, be, be, be around uh, other believers. Amen. There, there is strength in that. And uh, but I bless God for the for the the, the opportunities that we have in um, is via Zoom and via being able to come to you uh, in this format. And so, again, um, I bless God for it. So uh, all that to say, welcome. Amen. For those that don't know, uh, this is Apostle Chauncey Craig of Discipling Ministries, the place where we're not concerned about a building, but the building of a people. Amen. And uh, we believe that, that we're in the business of building people, if you want to call it. A business, amen. Uh, so, uh, with that in mind, uh, as you know, uh, came to you on last week with with part one of "Don't You Know, Don't You Know," and I know it got a little bit heavy for some people, amen. Um, not that anybody said anything, but uh, because this is a spiritual thing, uh, we can feel it, and we know, uh, I know, uh, when 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 this thing is hitting. Uh, in some places that we don't like to be hit or when it's causing us to think or consider some things that we don't necessarily want to consider and we or that we're comfortable being exactly where we are. And so um, so I'm going to pick up hitting us where we don't necessarily want to be hit. <laughs> Amen. Uh, because it's important uh, that we understand and get to a place where don't you know. And when we know, uh, when you know better, you do better. Amen. And so, don't you know, this is Don't You Know, part two. Amen. So, God bless you to, uh, amen, uh, Minister Fleming, God bless you. Amen. God bless you there, Sunset Lily. <laughs> amen. God bless you there, Team Howe. Amen. Uh, amen. Hopefully, I hadn't had missed anybody. But anyway, uh, God bless you guys, and thank you for, for tuning in. All right? Again, part two, Don't You Know. And we were coming from 1 Corinthians the sixth chapter, First Corinthians, the sixth chapter, First Corinthians, the sixth chapter, uh, reading verses nine through eleven. 
1 Corinthians, the sixth chapter, verses 9 through 11. It says, do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners will inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you, but you were washed, excuse me, but you were washed, but you were sanctified, but you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the spirit of our God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you there, cousin uh, Audrey. Amen. Andrita. <laughs> Amen. Old friend, uh, Patrick Swinton, neighborhood friend. Amen. Represent the FSU. Yeah, yeah. Represent the, the real you. Amen. <laughs> Amen. God bless you, brother. Um, anyway, uh, as we read through this, amen, we, we, we talked about on last week as, as, as we begin to, to get into part one, don't you know, uh, we, we begin to get into this ninth verse and begin to share and to, uh, 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 to, 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 to talk a little bit, amen, and, and was able to give some things. And, and again, from the subject area of uh, don't you know, because again, as we walk out this thing in the faith, amen, there's a lot of things that we don't know. And, you know, I've been at this for a while, and I promise you, there is so much I don't know, amen. And so, uh, don't you know, amen, it, it, it's able to help us uh, go further, go deeper, go wider in the things of God, uh, because it's teaching us. Again, this is discipling ministries, amen. This is That's the name of our ministry, and that's how we, um, that's how God gave it to me to be able to teach and, and, and to help us, amen. Amen. Uh, be better disciples. Amen. Uh, uh, to be better uh, Christ ins. Amen. Christians. All right. And so here we are. Let's look at this. First Corinthians, the sixth chapter. Amen. It begins by saying this. Do you not know? And so from there, which you know, that, that that's where we got our title from. And it's just saying, don't you know? All right. And it says, don't you know, uh, or do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? And so right there, I began to expound a little bit on last week. Uh, well, a lot on last week, just talking about unrighteousness and, and that sometimes, amen, even though, um, we can do a thing and we say, well, I know it may not be right, but it's okay. Well, if it's not right, it's unright. And so therefore it is unrighteousness. Amen. And so unrighteous is, is unright. And so I, I, I gave a definition, which I'm going to give again today, just, just to give us something to really look at. And uh, for those that know me and been around me, you know, I don't, don't use notes, but hey, I do. I, I, I got some notes, amen, because they're, they're dealing with some definitions and I think it's important, amen, to, re, to, 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 to give these uh, in the manner in which I'm going to give them. All right. And so unrighteous, amen, unrighteous, it means to maltreat, to violate, do violence, to take away violently, to wrong, to imagine wrongfully. It means cruelty, injustice, and oppressor. All right. And uh, oppressor. And so I began to talk about a lot of the things that's going on in society today, some of the things that we're witnessing, some of the things that, you know, that we're observing, how certain people are treated, how there are certain people that, that look at, uh, at other people a certain way or whatever. Amen. But it's unrighteousness. Amen. It is unright. Amen. Injustice is, is, is unright. Uh, 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 um, uh, uh. Inequality is <laughs> unright. And so anybody that's for these things is unright. Now, I do need to make this caveat and make this note and for, to help us understand this, is that when, when, when it's saying these things and when we observe these things, to, to know that this is, when we look at Corinthians, this is Paul talking to the church. And so I, I'm not talking to, no, to, to people in the things I'm sharing. It's not the people that are outside of the church. This is to those of us that are in the church. Amen. This is those of us that are in the church. So this is to the church. Amen. This is to the people who claim Christianity. This is to the people who claim and say that he is my God, that he's my Lord. This, this is to us. Amen. And so, uh, again, 
He's talking about unrighteousness, but, but what he says is the un, the, that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. And so anybody that's into these things, amen, that are doing these things uh, will, will not inherit the kingdom of God. And then I went on to talk about uh, what, what it's talking about, the kingdom of God, amen, in, in, in the kingdom of heaven. I, I was telling us that those, those, those things um, are synonymous with each other, the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven. And I begin to tell us that Jesus said that, don't you know that, that, that the kingdom is within? And so what he's talking about is himself, amen, that, that uh, uh, will not inherit. And so he will not abide. He will not occupy us. And so what he's saying is, I'm not in you. When you cut through all that, I'm not, if, if, if you're unrighteous, if you're, then I'm not in you. Amen. And so that's what he's saying. Uh, but he goes on to talk. And, 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 and as we continue to read, he goes on to list some other things. But the same thing holds true. It's, it's what he's saying is, I am not occupying you. In other words, you are not abiding in me and I am not abiding in you. Amen. Glory to God. All right. Just to give us a quick uh, backdrop. And so here we are. We're still in verse nine. Let's check it out now. Glory to God. It says, <clears throat> do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? He says, do not be deceived. Do not be deceived. In other words, do not be deceived. Is, uh, 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 don't be uh, enticed or don't be attracted to, 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 to uh, the wrong thing. Don't, don't, don't be deceived. Don't, 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 you know, people can tell you this and you, 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 you know this because the Holy Spirit is telling you this, but you feel like it's okay because it may have come from this place or it may have come from that place or it, it may, whatever. Uh, and so you're enticed by that or, or you're attracted to the wrong thing. Amen. Do not be deceived by that. Do not be uh, deluded. All right. Amen. Or seduced is another word. Amen. Don't be seduced into that thing. So let's keep it moving. Amen. Don't you know? Part two. Don't you know? Part two. He goes on to say after uh, uh, he says, neither fornicators, neither fornicators. And so I went through last week. I hit on fornicators. I hit on idolaters and I, and I touched on adulterers. Amen. But I really didn't go, 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 go deep into that. Amen. Because it's so much. So, but, but I do want to come back and hit that today. All right. And so when, 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 it's, when we look at it, it says fornic, it says neither fornicators. All right. So it, it already talked about the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God, the, the unright. Unright will not inherit the kingdom of God. But he goes on to say, no, 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 or uh, uh, neither, excuse me, neither, neither. And, and I told us that neither meant not even, <laughs> not at all. All right. And so again, so neither fornicators, neither fornicators. And when we look at that word fornicators, that word means sexually immoral person, sexually immoral person, a fornicator, sexual, sexually immoral person person. It, go, it, all, it goes on to talk about a whoremonger. Amen. Some of us have heard that word before. A whoremonger. Again, don't you know? Part two. Don't you know part two? So uh, the, 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 the fornicator is a sexually immoral person, a whoremonger. And so when we look, but, so, but it's, 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 it's a need that we go a little deeper than that. Why? Because uh, I don't remember everything that I said uh, towards the end of, of, of I, I should have went back and listened, but I didn't. <laughs> Amen. Towards the end, uh, I, I know I began to talk about uh, rebellion and I began to talk a little bit about perversion. All right. In which, again, we're going to you're going to hear more about that today. All right. And so so it's, it's, it's important that, that, that you remember that now uh, uh, re uh, rebellion and perversion, because I, I, I was telling us that those words are synonymous with one another. All right. Now, OK, so let's look at this. We're talking about fornicator. Now, it talks about sexually immoral person. Sexually immoral person, all right? A whoremonger. Now, understand this. When you look up the word whoremonger, when you look up the word whoremonger, amen, I need y'all to catch this, whoremonger, that word means porno. <laughs> that word means porno. Now, listen to this. There, there, there are different types of porno, but listen, 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 this, this, this is good now. Uh, it, 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 well, it's good to me, amen, because I, I, I get to look in the mirror and see where I am. You get to decide if it's good to you, amen. But porno, when it's talking about porno, which is the P-O-R-N-O-S, all right? Pornos, pornos, P-O-R-N-O-S. And we understand porno, amen. Pornos is talking about the, the uh, a, a male, amen, or a male prostitute, all right? Pornos, pornos, P-O-R-N-O-S. Now, 
There's another word that's porne, which is the same thing, or, or it's, it's spelled out P O R N E, but it's pronounced porne. That is the female version, amen. That is the harlot, the whore. Amen. It, it's, it's the idolater. And so notice how the, that, that the idolater is even linked to the word porno. Amen. And so sexually immoral person. Amen. The fornicator. Porno. 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 And, and, and again, the same thing, what we're talking about, porn, uh, pornography. Porno. All right. There's another word. It's uh, P-O-R-N. E U O, and that word is pronounced porn yo o, porn yo o. These, these, and, and what that word is, is, is talking about is it's talking about the male and female. In other words, between both both both, both sex, amen. And so if, if if you feel like well he ain't talking about me because I'm a female, then uh, 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 then the female is uh, porn a, amen, or porn. A amen. And again, the male is porn o, but to put them together, amen, is porn yo o. All right, the two together. Now, again, it, it, it's talking about the, these things practicing idolatry, practicing idolatry, practicing idolatry. And it, and, and and what uh, porn yo o means is it's talking about uh, to indulge in unlawful sex. To indulge in, un excuse me, unlawful lust. Unlawful lust. To indulge in unlawful lust, in lo un un unlawful sex, or whatever. Fornicator, amen. To, to fornicate. Come on, somebody say, don't you know? Now, you say, well, why would fornicate have anything to do with idolatry? Why would it have anything to do with idolatry? And the thing that, 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 and, 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 but see, we're dealing with fornication. We haven't even, the, the next one is no idolatry, but it's letting us know how these things are tied together. And sometimes, amen, we feel like, well, I'm okay over here. I ain't doing what they're doing, but we don't realize. And again, you hear around the, those that's been church, amen, we know that with one demon, amen, that there comes some friends, that some friends come along with that, amen, that there are some other things attached to that. Now, you, okay, let, 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 let me see how I can say it, uh, to make us in a way that we can understand it, amen. Now, I, I say it like this, uh, I'm a Craig, amen, and, but that's my dad. My mother is a Grimes, okay, so now I am attached to the Craig's, in the grinds. <laughs> Amen. And so whoever my grandmother's uh, uh, parents were and whatever, I'm attached to them too. Amen. And so I'm telling us, amen, how these demons run together, how how, how they, they come with some other stuff. Amen. And so uh, it's letting us know, amen, to be unrighteous, amen, got some cousins called, amen, fornication. Got some cousins called... <laughs> Amen. To be violent, to be whatever. And like I said, we may not be dealing with everything because there are some things that God has delivered us from. And so be, be, because we've submitted those things, God delivered us from that. But we some things that we like, amen, or that we, we don't even realize that we're still holding on to, amen, there's some stuff right there, amen, that we need to deal with. Come on, somebody. Don't you know? Amen. And so we're in this vein of, of, of fornication. And so when, when we talk about, again, uh, porno, fornication, porno, and you say, uh, so let's talk about it again. Idolatry, idolatry. Amen. And again, so fornication, idolatry, fornication, idolatry. And so fornicating, again, is, is, is to be a whoremonger, amen, to be involved in porno, amen, to be involved in, in, you say, well, I'm not involved in any porno, amen, I don't watch porno, I don't I, I don't get into that, that's not my thing, I, 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 I've been cleansed from that, amen, and so, not now, okay, and so, so the thing that I would tell us is this, amen, it, it likens those things to, amen, Idolatry, which is the next thing that we that, that, that we go into. But listen to what idolatry uh, 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 idolatry is. Amen. It says no idolaters, and so idolaters in the action is idolatry. Amen. So listen, it talks about in uh, uh, in image servant or worshiper. And so I began to talk to us before about worshiping an image. Amen. I told us how we got pictures on the wall, how some of us go into a little closet and we go and we worship images. Amen. Uh, things that, that man has created. Amen. Things that man have made. Amen. Some things we've made ourselves. Amen. To, to, to worship those things. 
Now, the thing that I would tell us is that this, this, this word, uh, idolatry, is also likened to that what we serve. Glory to God. Amen. And so everything that we serve is not, it's not saying that we serve it as a God. Amen. But it is saying that we, that we are a, that we are a servant of whatever that image is. Come on, somebody. Idolater. Amen. That we are servant to that image. Amen. Now we can be a servant to, to, to an image that, uh, uh, that, that we call our God or religiously, or we can just be servant to, or, or we can just be a servant to an image. Okay. Let me make it plain for us. Now, again, can't speak for everybody, but let's say this. Sometimes, amen. And, and, and I'm just saying for, 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 for men, amen. We love our car. Amen. Most of us, amen. We love our automobile. And sometimes, amen, we can, we, we can literally, amen, uh, be, make an automobile, amen, an idol for us. Amen. We worship, amen, our car. Come on, somebody. Maybe that ain't you. Amen. Okay. Maybe, 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 that, maybe that wasn't your thing. All right. Let, let, let's go a little deeper. Now, okay, idolater. It, it's, again, something that we serve. There are certain people, amen, when it comes to the dollar, Whatever it takes to get the dollar, amen, that, 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 that's what they'll do. Hey, I just got to get this money. I just, I'm, man, I'm about my business. I'm on my ground. Whatever. And therefore, you are a servant to a dollar, which means you are in our idolater. Come on, somebody. Amen. Don't you know that you are in a dollar? Well, whatever the image is, whatever it is that you're chasing, and that's why we're, we're, we're called to be God chasers. Amen. We're called to be chasing after the Lord. Amen. And not all this other stuff, because again, those things make us an idolater. Amen. We become a servant to those things. Okay, let's go a little deeper. Now, I, 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 I believe I'm talking to some church folk today again, because this word was written for some church folk. Come on, don't you know? Now, don't you know that some Sometimes, amen, we have made the church our idol. Uh, what you talking about? Some people will serve the church with everything that's, that's in them, amen. And anybody that come against the church, or anybody that say anything, they come down on them, they, they whatever, amen. But don't you know that God is love, amen. But so you can't love nobody because they don't go to your church, amen. Therefore, you have made your church your idol. It's not even about God anymore, amen. It's about your church. Come on, somebody. Amen. And so, so uh, again, idolatry, you begin to serve an image. You can tell everybody about the history of your church. Amen. You can tell everybody about the, uh, uh, the, 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 your denomination and how. And so we become idolaters. Amen. And it, because, again, it, it, it's not even about God anymore. It's about this church. <laughs> it's about this stuff. It's about that dollar. Amen. It's about that Car, amen. It's about how, uh, uh, again, even, even when it comes to church, amen, uh, 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 sometimes, amen, when God begins to, to, to listen, don't you know that sometimes when uh, uh, that, that, that when churches uh, begin to grow, amen, and God, God is massaging and, 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 and allowing uh, the, the, the land to be massaged, to be fertile, amen, where, where, where the church can blossom, but all you can talk about is the church, amen, not what the Lord is doing, but my church, my church is this, my church, my, my, dude, don't you know the Lord, come on somebody, we become idols, Amen. We allow the church to become idols and we are walking in idolatry. Glory to God. Amen. I know that's hard. That's heavy right there. But we better know Jesus. We better know Jesus. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. I know this is heavy. Matter of fact, I'm glad I wore camouflage today, man. I feel like I'm... <laughs> Amen. Feel like, hey, feel like I may be in war. Amen. <laughs> by, 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 by dealing with some of these subjects. Amen. Feel like, hey, I may be in combat. Amen. I, I may, Jesus hide me behind the cross. Amen. I got my camouflage on. Amen. I can be hidden behind the cross. Lord have mercy. Amen. Amen. I'm still silly too. I love the Lord. Amen. Don't you know? <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. But idolatry, idolatry, it means to be a servant. And what, whatever that we are a servant to, to be servant to servant to an image. Amen. Matter of fact, uh, idolatry. Can I tell us this? Amen. Some of us, amen, we, we, we're part of uh, uh, fraternities, sororities, or whatever. And I'm telling us that we hold and we esteem those sororities and fraternities just as high as we do our faith in God. If that is, and, and I'm telling us that is idolatry. Amen. That is idolatry. Amen. Uh, uh, again, 
I got my camouflage on. Amen. Glory to God. But I'm telling you that this is that that, that that is actual and it's factual, amen. That we are walking in idolatry. Idolatry. And so remember, look, look what the scripture says, amen. Neither fornicators nor idolaters. And so again, so if, if we are idol is whatever that we are a servant to, amen. Whatever image that we are a servant to, amen. Now, okay, let's go a little bit further. We talked about fornicators. Fornicators now, the, those that are sexually immoral, amen, the whoremonger, amen. Then we went into talking about how this is pornography, amen, or how it's porno, amen. Now, again, th 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 those are uh, uh, Hebrew and Greek uh, uh, meanings of those actual words. Now, you can get it for yourself. You can, I, I, I believe I told us last week, you can go ahead and get a head start and do your research, all right? Now, and so when we look, so fornicators, idolaters. And so as we begin to look at these things again, because uh, when we looked at fornication, amen, and it talked about porno, it related it back to and, and, and connected it with idolaters. All right. So now that we looked at idolaters, we know that idolaters and fornicate, those things run simultaneously. Amen. Those things run together. Glory to God. Amen. And so listen, Another thing about idolatry, about idolatry or to be an idolater is that these, these, these things are either, either figuratively or they are literally. Amen. So in other words, do, that, that you literally worship an image or you figuratively worship an image. And sometimes, amen, we figuratively, amen, we may not have something that we look at or whatever, amen, but when we look at our, our, our stuff on the wall, because, listen, I'm telling you, when I, when, when I was part of my, you know, a, a, a fraternity and stuff, man, I used to look at that stuff and be like, yeah, 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 I'm accomplished, amen, I love this stuff, man, like the stuff was in my veins or whatever, I loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it, I'm, I'm telling you, with everything in me, I loved it, I loved it, I loved it, and I, I, I listen, idolatry, idolatry, amen, whatever you are a servant to, you say, well, I work, and I do this, I do that, so does that mean, I'm a, because I go to my job, I love my job, that means I'm a servant to my job, no, 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 not, not, not the same, not the same, not the same, not the same, amen, it be because you, 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 now, do, 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 do you live to work, or do you work to live, Come on, somebody. There's a difference. There's a difference. And so, 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 what is your love? And so, if, if you're living to work, that means you're after the dollar. So you are. So you are. In, 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 it makes one an, an idolater to the dollar. Amen. It makes one an idolater. Amen. To his job or, his, or her job. Amen. So uh, uh, again, try, 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 trying to help us right here, either figurative, figuratively or literally. Amen. And so literally, again, I talked about the church and how there is a there's a literal building that people are that, you know, again, they will go, they'll cut the grass, they'll clean up, they'll do everything that they need to do. But if a sister over here needs some help to clean up and do, we don't want to go, we don't want to go do that. <laughs> I ain't cleaning nobody else's house. I clean my own house. Well, you put over here and clean that. That ain't nothing but a building. Amen. But you love your church. Amen. You love your idolatry. Come on, somebody. Amen. Yep, yep, yep. And I, 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 we need people to clean the church. Amen. But that sister over here may need some help too. Amen. And we got to be willing to do that too. Or, 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 again, to show forth the love of God. Again, idolatry. Somebody say, don't you know? <laughs> Hallelujah. Don't you know? Don't you know? Don't you know? Listen, listen, listen. Do you not? We infer for those that just coming in, just first Corinthians, the sixth chapter. Amen. We read verses nine through 11. We're still in verse nine. It says, do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers. Okay, there it is. We talked a little bit about that on last week, but here we are again, the adulterers. And the thing that I would tell us is this, adulterers and adulteress is just a female version of the other. Adulterer, male. Adulteress, female. But the same act. Amen. A, a, a sexual immoral. Amen. Same, 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 same act. All right. In other words, matter of fact, it goes on to say that an adulteress or an adulterer, amen, again, male version, female version, amen, is an apostate. Apostate. Yeah, say that. Apostate. Amen. Apostate. In other words, that you have literally Turn your back against God. 
That you, that's that's that, that's that's the, the 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 simple way. But let me give it to you like this. It says, abandon or rejected religion or religious beliefs that you've rejected God. And so, so, so you say, what that got to do with anything? It goes back to what I, what I ended, well, how I ended on last week, amen. How I began to tell us, amen, that in apostate or, or, or to be an adulterer, adulteress, which is linked to, amen, idolatry, idolatrous, and is linked to all the rest of, <laughs> amen, how everything is in the same category, how those things are, 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 are connected, glory to God, amen. It, it, and it, so the thing that it's telling us is this, if I am going to reject God, if I am going to abandon my religious beliefs, it lets me know that I am now in rebellion. <laughs> Amen. That I am now rebellious. Glory to God. Amen. And to be rebellious or to be in rebellion is also perversion. Come on, somebody. Amen. I know we don't like that kind of teaching. But here it is. Now, you say, what they got to do with each other? Listen, listen, listen to the definition. Uh, a quick definition of rebellion. It means to break away from. It means to resist or retreat. In other words, to go back. <laughs> it don't necessarily mean to go back to the starting point, but to go back. Glory. To resist, to go back. All right? Perversion means to withdraw, <laughs> to turn back. It means to do anything. To do evil. What are you talking about, apostle? The thing that I'm trying to tell us, amen, adulterer, adulteress, amen, that, th that these things are apostate, apostate, but the, which is the literal meaning, apostate, meaning to reject God. So what are you talking about, apostle? You're saying a whole lot. You're giving us all these definitions and you ain't really helping us understand. Okay, I, I, uh, I'm trying to, amen, I'm trying to get there. The thing that I'm trying to tell us is, Obviously, we're unright if we're involved in these things. And so it lets us know that the kingdom of God is not in us. Why? Because we rejected it. Come on, somebody. Because we turned away from it. Amen. Now, I, I'm not saying that because you make a mistake one time, amen, or two times, that God don't love you, that you ain't saved no more now. Because remember, he's talking to the church now. This, this is Paul talking to the church. He ain't saying that you ain't saved. He, he ain't messing with you. He, he, ain't saying, he ain't saying that, hey, your, your salvation ain't real or whatever. But what he is saying is that the kingdom of God ain't in you. <laughs> Amen. That you shall not inherit, that you shall not occupy the kingdom of God. And I'm not talking about occupy the kingdom of God that you're not going to make it to heaven. Amen. Because we have this thing about heaven, about getting to heaven, about getting. But uh, hey, God, will, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. As it is in heaven. And so there are some heavenly things that need to be done here in the earth. Amen. And there, there, listen, don't you know, don't you know that the things he's telling us, amen, again, is for us, the church. It's for the church. And it's letting us know not, not that, that all of us who say, Lord, Lord. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Not all of us who be, who be crying in church. Ah, oh, God. But we're caught up in some stuff. And I'm telling us, these things are hard. I'm telling you, I live this life, amen, involved in a whole lot of sexual uh, 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 mess. Mess, man. And I'm telling you, no matter how much I try to come out of that stuff, it's like that stuff had a stronghold on me. And so I'm telling us, amen, if God don't do it, if we don't surrender these things to God, but you got to first acknowledge that I got a problem. Amen. But if you think you're all right, then you'll never deal with it. Amen. And so don't you know that the kingdom of God ain't in you. Amen. God, God revealed these things so he can work these things out of it. That's why we're working out our salvation. Amen. The, the, one of the biggest uh, detriments, one of the biggest hindrance to the move of God, especially among young people. Amen. Is for those of us that, 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 that be walking like and talking like we ain't got no issues. That we ain't never been through nothing. That, that God ain't still working on us. We have arrived. That's a lie. You still got some stuff you need to work on. Because Lord knows he's working on me. But yet, it doesn't disqualify him using me. Why? Because when he reveals it, Lord knows I'm trying to get that stuff right. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. I'm trying to work out my salvation. Amen. It ain't already been worked out. I'm working it out. Hallelujah. Every day. 
Amen. Repenting. Amen. Being born again and again and again and again and again. Amen. Trying to live this life. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. And so, 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 so Paul wants us to know. He, he said, hey, don't you know that these things are together? These things are linked. Amen. These things are tied together. Amen. He said, so again, listen. Uh, rebellion, to back away from, to resist. Amen. Uh, perverted. Amen. To withdraw, to turn back. To do anything, to do evil. And so it's telling us, amen, that again, there are people that say that I'm a Christian, but they live and do anything they want to do. Do evil, do whatever. But I, hey, God's grace, well, I'm just living for the Lord. Sing it for us, Eugene Fleming. I don't want to be living for the Lord, amen. Now, so, 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 so uh, uh, again, I, 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 Living for the Lord. So what does it mean to be living for the Lord, amen? To, to be living for the Lord, again, is to be changing, amen? When God revealed these things, amen, when God began to prick us and hit our heart, amen, we, we got to change. We can't continue to be doing what we want to do. We can't continue to do anything because to do anything is perversion. It's rebellion against what's natural, against the natural laws of God, amen, against the thing that God says, this is this, this is this. A, a matter of fact, we can ready to get into that, uh, to, to that next part about what's natural and about what is unnatural. Glory to God. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Y'all still with me today? Anybody still love me? Amen. I appreciate y'all love. Amen. But you know, I'm still saying what I got to say anyway. Hallelujah. Amen. And so listen, 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 listen. Verse 9. Do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers. Here go that next one. Nor homosexuals. Nor homosexuals. And that's the one right there, amen, where people get, boy, they get, boy, they get upset. Oh, everybody, because I'm telling you, they got homosexual churches. They got, listen, but, but, but the thing I just told us again is uh, it's, it's to go against that which is unnatural, amen. But look, look, now, I'm going to say this. There is no uh, Greek or Hebrew word for homosexual. There's no, there's no Greek. And so for this, listen, listen to this now. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go back. I'm, I'm going to look at the King James Version. I'm going to look at the King James Version. Y'all know I read from the New King James. But in this, I'm going to look at the, key, the King James Version. The King James Version, read this way. It says, no idolaters. Uh, excuse me. I, no, I'm going to just read the whole verse 9. It says, know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor, I don't even know how to say that word, effeminate, <laughs> effeminate, E-F-F-E-M-I-N-A-T-E, -E. amen, but that word describes, amen, a homosexual, amen, same word, same word, amen, and so, but that word means this, listen, that word means this, it means Soft to the touch. <laughs> it means soft. Uh, effeminate, right? It means soft. Non-masculine. It means woman-like traits. It means over-emotional or uh, overly delicate. Amen? It, it means, uh, it also talks about a, uh, a catamite. A catamite. And a catamite is a male who submits his body to un to unnatural lewdness. Again, a male who submits his body to unnatural lewdness. Again, let's 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 let's, let's put that together now. And so the F the 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 F F F mate. Amen. Y'all, I apologize for not being able to pronounce it. Amen. But it, you, you can look it up for yourself. Amen. And so, but this thing describes the homosexual. Amen. And so this is the, that, that's what the new King, uh, uh, the King James version calls it. Amen. But of course, with new King James, because we're living there, that's the way they expressed it as homosexuals. But same, same, same word, same meaning. And if, if, if you do the research, you'll know that uh, those words are synonymous with one another. The, 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 the F, F, Ephraimate, <laughs> amen, in the homosexual. Those words are synonymous with one another. Now, it's talking about how 
how these uh, in, in, in the uh, catamite, how how is is submit a male submits his body to unlawful lewdness, unnatural lewdness. All right, unnatural lewdness. Okay, it talks about those uh, uh, being soft, about those woman like like tricks. Okay, about being. Feminine, amen. That is, is not meant for men to be feminine. Now, it's okay to have some, it's okay to know how to cook, okay? It's okay to know how to clean because those aren't considered womanly duties. They, it's just that what we've titled womanly. So that has nothing to do with being soft, amen. But you know, amen, when you soft, oh, amen. And when, when, and when your voice is, is, is too high, amen. Uh, but listen, I'm just, I'm in the scripture. I know we may not like it, but I'm in the scripture. Amen. And again, this is for those who say that they are Christian. This is for those who say they love the Lord. Now, again, if you in the world and you live in this life, do what you do until the Lord uh, uh, comes in or, or, or you're able to receive what, 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 the, what the word of the Lord is and you're able to change. Amen. But for those of us that are in, for anybody who is living as a homosexual and thinking that they are uh, uh, going to inherit the kingdom of God or that God is in them, you're wrong. Plain and simple. Amen. Because, again, it's not to say, because, again, there, there are many who live this life. And when God came in and began to, to fix some things around, amen, I ain't telling you it's going to be easy, but when God began to turn some things around or whatever, amen, they begin to live, amen, what is considered a biblical, natural life. Because the life of a homosexual is unnatural. It is unnatural. It is lewd. In other words, it is perverted. It is going against the lawful, uh, uh, against the natural nature of things. Amen. The natural, there's a Bible natural way of things. Amen. And that way is unnatural. It is unnatural. Amen. And God ain't in it. And so again, so if you know somebody that say, I'm a pastor and, and, and this is my first man. <laughs> Amen. I'm, a, a man and a first man. Amen. Now I'm telling you, amen, every relationship has someone in it. That served as a male and a female, amen. And so, it, so it's a male that got these feminine ways, amen. And so, some try to get over today and say, Well, amen, I'm in love with a man and I live with a man, but I, I'm masculine, I'm masculine, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm masculine, and you may very well be masculine. Amen. And so, but and so, but, but in your masculinity, amen. In, in the fact that you have a, 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 the, the image, amen. The, the 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 unlawful image that you that you're connected with this image, amen, of another man. Let's me know, amen. That 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 not not only are you a fornicator, amen, but you are also perverted. You're also into porno. Glory to God. Are we hearing this today? Amen. Again, I, I, I don't care if it's my mama. I don't care if it's my brother. I don't care if it's my son, cousin. Uh, hey, the truth is the truth. Amen. I ain't, I ain't speaking my truth. I'm speaking from the word of God. Hallelujah. It is unnatural. It's wrong. Amen. And you will not inherit the kingdom of God. Amen. It ain't my kingdom to give to you. Amen. It's, it's, it's not my God to give to you. Amen. I can present them to you. It's up to you whether you receive it or not. And he will not be in a, a, a dwell in an unclean thing. Amen. Are we hearing this today? Don't you know? Don't you know? Don't you know? Don't you know? Listen. It says uh, soft, non-masculine, woman, uh, a woman-like traits. Over emotional or, or, or delicate, amen. And again, there, there, there are men that they may not act the certain, they may act like men day in and day out, amen. But when they get with another man, one of them is, is gonna be my husband, <laughs> and the other one, my wife, amen. Some people say, Well, my husband, my husband, amen. Come on now, amen. But there is one, amen, who's the uh, what, what we consider the weaker vessel, amen. And so that is unnatural. It's not right. Glory to God. Amen. Lady J, you have something? Hallelujah. Amen. I'm in this thing. Amen. I, I thought my wife had something. She kept, she turned around and gave me a look. Like, ooh. Okay. And so, amen. <laughs> Glory to God. It's unnatural. It's unnatural. Again, let's keep it moving. Amen. I, I can hang right there. What time is it? 
All right, we got time to deal with this last one, I, I believe. Amen. Now, I'm going back to the uh, 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 New King James Version. All right, going back to the New King James Version. We still in verse 9. I'm going to pick up in that last sentence. It says, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites, sodomites, sodomites. Now, there is a, 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 uh, a, 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 a Hebrew and Greek meaning of the word sodomite. Matter of fact, I'm going to give you a little bit of it. Uh, it means, uh, one, one of the meanings, it means to be clean or pronounced as clean, ceremoniously, made sacred, dedicated, appointed, prepared, consecrated, sanctified, and devoted to a male prostitute. <laughs> You said, what that got to do with anything? Now, I'm trying to help us. Now, I, I know some of y'all have seen television, amen, have watched television when, when there's been sex trafficking and they, 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 they've gotten a, 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 a young boy, amen, that, that they're going to give to some old man. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Amen. Some of y'all have seen it. Y'all, y'all, y'all. And so, but now, can I tell you, this was practiced in, in the times of old. And what they're saying is, this person was sanctified, dedicated, and, and ceremoniously prepared to be, amen, somebody else's, uh, 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 a man for another man. Come on, somebody. Amen. That's unright. Glory to God, somebody. That's unright. That is unnatural. Amen. But it, but, but it used to happen. It cannot tell us it's still happening today. And so what are you talking about, Apostle? The thing I'm trying to tell you is what they call that. that, that that's, that's called pedophilia. All right? That's, that, you, you, that man is, is called a pedophile. Pedophile, pedophile, pedophile. Okay, why do you say pedophile? Come on. Anybody that's, that's ever taken their child, amen, to the doctor, what do you take them to? To their pediatrician. <laughs> Amen. To their pediatrician. So pedophile. Ped it's talking about a child. Glory to God, somebody. And so a pedophile is someone that messes with a child. Glory to God. And so the thing that, 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 that I'm trying to get us to understand is it's just not male and male. But there are females that are, that, 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 that are pedophiles to young males and young females. Glory to God. So pedophilia is pedophilia. And, and matter of fact, I, I, I believe the term they call it is pedi ped pedestry. Something like that. Anyway, that, that's the act of, of, of the whole thing. But the thing I'm trying to tell us is this, amen. A sodomite, amen, is someone that's, that, 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 that's a part or uh, 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 have gone through the ceremony of being dedicated, amen, uh, 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 to another man. But the word is, 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 comes from the word pedophilia, amen, a uh, 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 pet, uh, 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 pet, pedius or whatever that. Anyway, just, just, just trying to give us, I'm trying to teach this, trying, trying to give us a little, a, a, a little up on that. But, but, but that word sodomite, now, it, it goes on to talk about this. It says, uh, licentious uh, idolatry. In other words, licentious idolatry. And what that means is this. It means, licentious idolatry, it means to disregard any sexual rules. What are you talking about, Apostle? Because, again, I'm trying to tell you, there are some rules for sex. Amen. There are some rules. Male and female, that, that is a natural rule. Amen. When you're married. Amen. That's a, that, that, that is what God has ordained. That, that, uh, hey, to come together sexually is what consummated a marriage in those days. Amen. Nowadays, amen, because we're, we, we have civic duties, we go get a, a, a license and we get married. Amen. That's our civic duties. But biblically, it's when we come together. And so some say, well, we already had sex, so I guess we married. We ain't got to go to the civic You ain't got to go. But either way, amen, you, you, you didn't perform your civic duties, amen, in which we are required. We live here this land that we have some civic duties. Amen. And so that should have happened before. Glory to God. Amen. And so anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm still here. I'm still here. Amen. Don't you know? Don't you know? Don't you know? Don't you know? Listen to this. To disregard any sexual rules. Amen. And so sexual rules is male and male don't go together. Amen. That, that, that's, that, that's an unnatural rule. Female and female, that don't, that, that don't go together, amen. That's an unnatural rule, amen. A grown man with a baby, amen, that's unnatural. You, you ain't supposed to be with that baby. A woman messing with, the, with them children, that's, 
That's unnatural, amen. That's unright. Glory to God, somebody, amen. And, and, and you will not inherit the kingdom of God. That is unnatural, amen. That is, you are a sodomite. You are a sodomite. Amen. Uh, if, if that is what you, you is what you what you're doing, Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, thank you so much, Minister Fleming. Glory to God. Amen. And so for, 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 for those that are involved in these things, again, I'm, I'm trying to help us. Sodomite. Now, I don't want to stop there. I'm gonna bounce back to the to, to the King James Version because I like how it, how it says it also. Amen. Look what the King James Version calls it. The King King James uh, uh, Version says, how you pronounce that word? How you, uh, uh, infinite, 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 there it is. All right. And so again, it talks about, uh, verse nine. It says, do not be deceived. Neither fornicate, nor idol, nor uh, uh, adulterers, nor infinite, <laughs> nor abusers of themselves with mankind. So instead of saying sodomite, it says, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. And so here we go. Uh, again, this is the King James Version, 1 Corinthians, the sixth chapter, in the ninth verse. Amen. The bottom of the ninth verse, it says, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. And so what it's saying is, okay, homosexual, sodomite, uh, uh, lesbian, you, you up in there too, amen, the, uh, the, 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 the pedophile, amen, male or female, amen, the, the, uh, the, you are sodomizers. In other words, you are abusers of themselves with mankind. And so when he say abusers of themselves, man is, is abusing man. Woman is abusing woman. Amen. This You will not inherit. The, don't you know, amen, that these things are against God. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. I know, amen, we don't, again, people detest this and we want to say, well, you just being hard. You so self-righteous. You this, you that. I already know. I'm going to get it. Some people, they ain't, uh, uh, if, if you tell them about it, amen, Amen. I might even get an inbox, and that's okay. <laughs> Amen. And for those that have my number, you can call me. Amen. I don't. I, I do not uh, uh, digress on anything that I've said. Amen. I'm here to give us the truth, and the truth is that God loves us enough. Amen. Don't you know that He loves us enough to give us these truths to help us to know? Amen. Listen. <laughs> I'm gonna say this. Matter of fact, thank you, Holy Ghost. Listen. <laughs> Hallelujah. It, even when we think about our society today, amen, we know that several years ago that they voted and said that, 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 that they made a decision that same-sex marriage is okay. Amen. Now we got these all these communities with all these little letters and stuff. We got all, and people talking about I'm an ally of this, I'm an ally of that, I'm an ally to, I'm not an ally to any of it. Now I, I, I'm gonna love you and, 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 and I'm, I'm gonna love you, I'm gonna love you, I'm gonna love you. But I am not an ally to your lifestyle. I'm not an ally to your perversion. I am not an ally, amen, to you living, amen, apostate, amen, being godless, living without God, or for you rebelling against God, amen. I am not an ally to that. Hallelujah. I love you. Glory to God. Amen. And so, after, and so the decision was made to, for same-sex marriage. Now, can I tell you this? Another word, amen, when you get into apostate, when you get into rebellion, when you get into uh, 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 this thing of, 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 of perversion, what that literally means is to corrupt. Amen. And so what has happened is, amen, our legislation has went in and said that, okay, they have corrupted. In other words, they have uh, 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 they, they have went and twisted and moved around and shuffled and made the law the way they want. In other words, they corrupted the law. Amen. And so, it's, it's so to, by, by the law being corrupted, people are living in corruption. Amen. And so corruption is, is to live in a rebellious, perverted place. Glory to God, somebody. I know I'm teaching good. Amen. And you may not under, quite understand all of it. Amen. amen but that, but I, I know what I'm telling you, amen, is, is, is directly from the heart of God. Amen. And I'm telling you this. Don't you know, amen, that this corruption Amen. Has even entered our pulpits. Amen. And people are, they, 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 there's a, a sense that uh, I'm good. I'm safe. God understand. God, God, God understand my 
feelings. God understands my emotion. God understands how what my need, amen. But he said, hey, he'll supply your need, amen. He, but but, but uh, according to his riches and glory, amen, according to him, amen, according to what he, and, and God ain't gave no man, no man, hallelujah. God ain't gave no woman, no woman, hallelujah. And so, again, and so when you consider the sodomite, yeah, that's the homosexual, but when you consider the sodomite, it puts it all, it packages all together and say, hey, lesbian, you don't escape, amen. Homosexual, you don't escape. Pedophile, you don't escape. The one that conducts, matter of fact, it's even linked to uh, incest. Glory to God. It's saying that you who does incest, amen, you're included in this whole thing of, of, of being a sodomite, amen, or of abusers of mankind, amen, abusers of themselves with mankind, amen. You, it's fit in that same bubble, the sodomite. Now, anybody that, 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 that have read and have studied the Bible, we know about Sodom and Gomorrah, amen. And so this sodomite is going, matter of Jesus, thank you, thank you, Holy Ghost. Matter of fact, uh, Joe, 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 the third, I'm going to go there real quick. Uh, Y'all know I usually jump scriptures, but I think it's important that I take you there. We're going to Joe. Hallelujah. Joe, the third chapter. This is just to point out, just, just to show you a little something, amen, just to show you a little something for those that may know or may not know, amen. Hallelujah. Joe, the third chapter, verse, verse three, listen, verse three, just hear this. Just hear it, just hear it, and, and process it for a minute. They have cast lots, um, New King James first, Joel 3, verse 3, New King James. They have cast lots for my people, have given a boy as payment for a harlot, and sold a girl for wine that they may drink. Listen, the thing they tell us is that we literally have... have, have, have Jeez, that we have literally used God's people, that we have literally used people for payment, amen, amen, to give uh, 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 as, as, as payment for something. In other words, we don't honor each other as as, as humans, amen. Uh, 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 matter of fact, uh, black, white, some of the stuff we're talking about in today's society, we don't honor each other as humans, amen. But here, we have even put a price on humans, amen. People say, well, that ain't nothing new. That happened in slavery. And, and again, even that to be a servant of, amen, is to be in slavery. Amen. And so I, as I said, that which you serve. And so if you serve this, you're a servant to that or you're a slave to that. Amen. And so again, so, listen, it's so much that I want to share with us. Glory to God. But listen, here in Joel, it's, it's talking about how a, 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 a child was given as payment for a harlot. Amen. And so, and, and so in other words, I don't want the woman. Amen. I, I, so I, I, I'll give you a boy for, to a man, amen. I give a boy to a man as payment. Jesus, amen. I, I give a girl, amen, as, 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 as payment for wine. Jesus, are we hearing this? Amen. Go back and study it for Joel 3. And I took us there so you can write it down, you can have it, or you can you can you can watch the video, get it later, or whatever the case may be. I'm jumping back to uh 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 1 Corinthians, amen, uh, and, and so we can go ahead and close this out until the next time, amen, and so I, I, I'm, 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 I'm prayerful that we that you know, you know I like to pick up wherever I left off, and so as we deal with this thing about uh, 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 sodomites, about homosexual sodomites, and know that it's all packaged together, the pedophile, the one that does incest, you, yep, yep, your nasty behind, you, you, you up in there too, glory to God, and so the thing that, 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 he, that you will not inherit the kingdom of God, don't you know, amen, that, 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 hey, we, we, can, we can sit in the church and we can think that we're protected all day long. And yet, when we get out of church, we still got these, this, these things on our mind. Some of us go to church, lift up our hands, and our mind is already thinking about we married, but we thinking about that woman over there. We already got this image in our head about what it's like. I wonder what it looked like. I wonder what it smelled like. Oh, I'm looking at this one. Oh, he got his pants up high. I can see his crowd. Oh, Lord, that's all right right there. And, and I'm telling them that all this stuff is, that is Perversion. Glory to God. It's perversion. Until we allow the Lord to begin to fix our minds, amen, don't you know that we will not inherit the kingdom of God? I'm talking to us. Hallelujah. Listen, I'm telling you, 
Amen. I, I, I know what it's like, amen, and, and as much as it, as it hurts me and it pains me to even keep the, to mention this stuff and, and to have my wife to hear this stuff over again and to take her back to the place uh, where we once were, amen, I, I, I still have to tell us, amen, in order that someone would understand. But I know what it's like, amen, to want to do good in your marriage, but yet you still got this. Man, I need to get back out there. I got some stuff. I got some stuff on my mind, man. I need, I need to go, amen. I need to check that. Ooh, that look good over there. Hey, I need to get that. I need, and I'm telling us that even for Christians, that there are many of us that are still operating with this same mindset. That are still operating in this same lost place. In this, still operating in porno. Still operating in perversion. Still operating in, re, in, in rebellion. That we are going against, amen, that which God has ordained. The natural order. And the order is if you marry, you stay with your wife. That's it. Amen. You don't get to tiptoe. Well, she ain't doing me right. She, well, he ain't treating me right. Well, that's your wife. That's your husband. Y'all work that thing out. Amen. And what I'm talking about is sexually. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Amen. Y'all, we, 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 we some grown folks right here. Amen. Every time I put it on YouTube, I say this is not child, child, child. Uh, uh, this is not for children. <laughs> Amen. And so the thing that I'm telling us is that, well, they don't do it like Susie did. Well, they don't do it. Hey, that's your wife. That's your husband. Y'all work it out. Amen. Get your mind off. When you go to the bathroom and you put your mind on what was and whatever, and next thing you know, you end up just, just doing doing yourself. Amen. Being abusers of yourself. Amen. Pleasuring yourself. Amen. That is perversion. Why? You have an image. Jesus. You 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 you, you got an image in your head that, that, that you're using. And you're serving yourself based on that image. Amen. Then you become an idol to that image. Jesus. Amen. I hope I'm helping somebody. Amen. Once again, this is Apostle Chauncey Craig of Disciple and Ministries, the place where we're not concerned about a building, but the building of a people. I pray that this word has landed. Amen. And that you are good ground, that we are good ground. Amen. That this word will take root. Amen. Be watered and bring forth much fruit. I love you. God bless you. Peace.